So when we're looking into prime, when we're looking into factoring a number, um, guys, there's a lot of you know kind of shortcuts you guys can take. Obviously, you can look at the factors, and we always want to kind of identify you know um, uh, different numbers that divide into it. And it doesn't really matter which factors you choose. You just have to keep on factoring them down. However, I'm going to kind of show you some tips because you guys are going to be working with some large numbers today. And so I kind of want to give you some tips on, you know, if you can't think of the factors, or maybe you're having trouble, like what, what divides into 64, or what divides into 6,320, right? Well, one thing is, if we notice that our, um, our number, if we notice that our number is even, that means it's always going to be divisible by 2, right? So I don't care how large the number is. If it's even, you can always break it up into times 2 which would be 2 times 32. And then you can just keep on following that process until you factored it down, until you get at least an odd number. Right? Does everybody see that? All right. Um, the other way to also think about it, well, if it's not even, right? What if it ends in a 5? Well, if it ends in a 5, you know it's going to be divisible by 5, right? And if you have something odd, what I would recommend is looking to see if it's divisible by 3, 7, or 9. And if it's not divisible by those numbers, maybe then start picking up, maybe go to 11, to 13. Um, if it's divisible by 15, then we know it's divisible by 5, right? Um, so just kind of keep on stepping up the ladder if it's odd. And that's some of the ways that can help you um, with your prime factorization. Obviously, this is a little bit more work. It'd probably be easier if you, or faster, if you just did 8 times 8. 4 times 2, 4 times 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, times 2, right? So either way, guys, it doesn't really matter how you do it. You're still going to get the prime factorization of the number, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which we would notice, just a little FYI from our things, 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 64 really equals 2 two to the sixth power. You don't have to do that, but I'm just trying to make you guys think of those, because that's why we don't have our phones out, right? <laughs> All right, so.